company. Then we'll have to make a lot of changes. Yes, that's right. We'll need another guy. things on your end? I see. We're on schedule here as well. I know. Me too. <laughs> Until then. <laughs> I knew you'd come. You and I, neither of us can escape our fate. I haven't seen you since Shadow Moses. How long? Ten years? Nine. And Dr. Emmerich, is he with you? Why? I thought he'd be the only one able to open the mail I sent. Not many people could recognize 4D sound data in a Soliton radar file. How is the good doctor? Otacon's fine. He's the same as ever. Otacon? I see. Who were you just talking to? Liquid. Although I suppose he's really Ocelot, from a medical standpoint. I thought he was here. He's not, at the moment. Where are all the guards? 
They know I won't escape. I'm powerless to resist. I have no choice but to cooperate. Naomi, what happened in the Middle East? What you saw was the soldiers' emotions run amok. Another product of the system. You don't trust me? I'm not sure yet. And if I answer your question? Let's hear it first. Liquid. We thought the SOP was an ID control system designed primarily to maintain order and control in battle. <laughs> and we were right. But only partially. SOP had another function. To control people's senses. The nanomachines inside soldiers' bodies adapt to different conditions, promoting the release of neurotransmitters, hormones, and stimulants, giving them an edge in battle. They can create an artificial combat high by releasing endorphins at the same time a soldier kills an enemy. Or they can suppress hormones to neutralize the soldier's emotions, prevent them from panicking and engaging in friendly fire or needless massacres. It's all controlled by the system's core AI. It artificially controls the soldier's pain, emotion, senses, in other words, the essence of his being. The skyrocketing demands of the war economy have fueled the demand for more soldiers and more fighting. This in turn led to the development of technologies to rapidly improve their combat abilities and control their actions. The system ensures a steady supply of battle-optimized soldiers at a minimum of cost. But you, of all people, must understand, Snake, that unlike combat technique, a soldier's senses can't be taught. They must be earned through experience. Does this have something to do with that test of yours? The goal was to release the soldier's nanomachines from the system. But we didn't know about the mental control. And the nanomachines went berserk? No. Our test was a success. At least, it confirmed our hypothesis at the time. Just as we predicted, the nanomachine stopped functioning, and the PMC soldiers were freed from the grips of the system. But the moment the system stopped, all the pain and fury and sorrow, all the trauma and stress, all the hatred, regret, guilt, all the sensations that had been suppressed were unleashed within their hearts. Their memories, unlike their senses, weren't erased. Each enemy soldier they'd killed, each lost comrade, each threat of violence against the innocent. Every act of war they'd committed was etched firmly in their hearts. In suppressing the user's mind, the nanomachines exact a heavy burden on his heart. The user's body rejects the nanomachines. This reaction must then be suppressed with drugs. Before the user knows it, his mind is in complete shambles. Snake, remember Frank? Frank Yeager. Gray Fox. They twisted his body for their experiments and nullified his broken heart with nanomachines. SOP has taken it even further and applied it to living human beings. The sins of war these soldiers carried inside them returned to assault them in the form of unimaginable shell shock. The meaning in the system may have changed, but the battlefield hasn't.